many of our residents are from developing countries and they are not going to have the luxury of an anesthesiologist or anesthetic tech and therefore we teach them a very simple technique in giving a local anesthetic which is very useful for the majority of anterior segment operations. We draw up 2 cc's of lidocaine with epinephrine. This comes in dental cartridges and is very cost effective. A few drops is dribbled into the lower conjunctival fornix and we then wait one minute. The process is then repeated and we wait a further minute. I insist this is by the clock because when we commence our training we tend to be anxious and impulsive and this can lead to problems. A third lot of drops are instilled and by now we're getting pretty good conjunctival anaesthesia. Using a 27 or 30 gauge needle we then approach the eye from the lateral side and the needle has to be strictly in the horizontal plane. When we commence our training it's terribly important to avoid the risk of a scleral puncture and we raise a small conjunctival bleb. The needle is then withdrawn. About 30 seconds later we give the main injection and this is a maximum of 1 cc. We try to avoid the subtenon space because anaesthetic within the subtenon space doesn't diffuse particularly rapidly as opposed to the subconjunctival space where it spreads around very well and you can see it going around the limbus there and that's why this is called a perilimbal infusion. This is real time. The injection has to be given gently and slowly and whilst the patient feels nothing it is important to maintain reassuring vocal local. We then go and scrub and this block will give good anesthesia for one hour. This is an excellent block for cataract surgery both FACO and extra cap. We use it for pterygia and epithelial debridement. It's very good for prolonged laser applications and in increasing numbers we're using it for avastin injections. Give it a try and thanks for watching.